This is Eurospy 2013 in Dundalk Institute of Technology, June 2013. What is Eurospy? I would like to tell the story about how it started and then how it continued. Uh, it started, I was at the beginning of uh, the 90s, a researcher at the University of Technology in Graz, Austria. And we had a project uh, with Robert Bosch GmbH and the European Union which was called Bootstrap from 1989 to 1992. And the work was published at this time uh, also not only in Europe, in Springer, but also in the American Computer Society, which was one of the first, let's say, European projects, which were accepted also by the American Computer Society. And what we developed were, was a, a profiling method. Yeah? It was called Bootstrap. And it later uh, developed into an international standard like ISO 15504 for capability assessment, developing profiles of capability of companies. And at this time, I was also a researcher for software architecture design. I held uh, programming practices lectures, and we were in close collaboration with the industry. Uh, we found out that uh, there is uh, more methods than just our method. There were a number of projects funded a number of initiatives on the market and we got funding for uh, one year, 93 to 94, on the European Comet program, which is a European exchange and networking program. And I was the expert uh, who had to implement it and I had to leave the country for that. Yeah? So we, I went one, uh, uh, two times for three months to Ireland and we founded the idea of a conference so that people from different countries and different areas and different methods for process improvement can meet, can exchange information, that we have a mix between industry and, uh, and research. And we started with our first conference. Yeah? And that was the proceedings of 1994. And the interesting part in it is that at this time, you see major companies on the table like Siemens, Alcatel, Motorola, companies that at this time were leading on the market. Yeah? So we found out this is a quite interesting field. Yeah? So we should continue because there were more than 80 people from leading industry and research and we had to found a company and we called the company ISCN, International Software Consulting Network. The reason is that the EU project which was funded under the Conway program was called EQN, European Quality Network, because we wanted to build a network of, of different people across Europe by different countries and cultures. The outcome of that, after 20 years, is a conference series which is still there, yeah, which is supported by publishers like Springer. Yeah. We have also uh, magazines from Wiley, yeah, so Wiley International. We have uh, a book with a uh, research series from the, from the Scandinavian research centers. So it's 20 years later, still the conference is there, still the network is there. We have more than 24 countries participating and uh, we are, have a community of a vast area of methods and tools and experiences which we exchange. So the project has been a big success. It was funded by the European Union for one year and is one of the success stories from the Comet which later became the Leonardo program where you fund one year but you get 20 years of uh, implementation. And we still have the plan to continue for the next 20 years, which was visible by the anniversary event this year. Who are you, by the way? <laughs> well, I've got this yellow thing with horse heads on it. Uh -huh. And I've got this beautiful shirt. I've got some lovely rings. And somebody told me that I was the president. President? Of the conference.
visited my first US by author, it was in uh, 2002, that was by chance, I was visiting the conquest uh, conference in Germany, which uh, in this year was uh, at the same place as the US by but I think the, uh, the, the ignition for me visiting you is by every year started in 2004 when it was in Trondheim and I, I like the idea uh, that it was in different European countries and different cultures mm -hmm. that's when it was Norway, the, the, uh, the year after it was, uh, I think it was Hungary, then Finland and so on and I immediately liked that idea and I stayed uh, a true friend and uh, visiting the conference every year then. Building up here, I said, is the Heritage Centre. It's you see it raised up on a hill. This is uh, like a pool that everybody brings their ideas and experiments, and uh, we can uh, take advantage of those uh, yeah, experiments, ideas, and other uh, point of views, and we. Uh, we can make collaboration okay. with those people coming from uh, all other all other sides of the world, okay. and that's Learn. a good that's place great. to be. What value do you see in your response? In relation to my uh, uh, previous message, 
we need a lot more uh, exchange ideas to create more uh, uh, innovative and uh, useful for society. Mm -hmm. So we need uh, 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 not only the own uh, region, but we have to communicate and create new things. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, EURSPI, uh, like this conference, will create some, uh, some what say, uh, uh, accelerate uh, mm -hmm. those our activity in the world. It's a bit of a gateway for people from different countries to get together yeah. and um, compare what they're doing to other people and to yes. see if, yes. if somebody has a similar idea and how you can work yes. together. In, yeah, inspiration each other. Okay, yeah. to inspire each other, yeah. 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 The important thing is that you bring people together from very different perspectives, yeah. from different countries, different companies, um, this year from, from medical. Um, you see how others are solving their problems, yeah. and that is enriching for both. So uh, the talks have been very much focused on medicine and medical devices. That was that was interesting. To contact <laughs> with people okay. and face to face like yes. this yes. is very very uh, valuable. And also not only just a talking, but uh, to understand the European way. <laughs>
which are all different. <laughs> It's enough, I'll show you the typical movement and then you know dancing with me, right? <laughs> okay, that's enough. You know. Okay, so I would like to make a, a special thank you to the publishers that are supporting Eurospy. Uh, I would like to mention uh, Springer, for instance. Springer is doing an annual uh, book. Originally it was in the lecture notes of computer science. Now it's in the communication and computer and information science series. And every year we have a book. Uh, the book is also growing in its size. There's key papers in it. Uh, uh, of peer-reviewed uh, articles of researchers and also a selection of industry papers and Springer offers that now also online uh, and uh, I just received an email from Springer that also many thousand people use the online option to download even that book so there is an interest in Europe, in America, in the world on that material. Also Wiley InterScience. Uh, Wiley InterScience is one of the leading uh, uh, publishers worldwide for, for magazines in the computer science. Uh, we are grateful to Wiley support, uh, especially this year they made even an extra entry page uh, so that all the journals over the last years can be accessed by one entry point and you can find it also on the website of Eurospy. Uh, we are grateful to, uh, to the Danish uh, 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 electronic center called Delta. Delta is one of the leading electronics companies in, in Scandinavia and they have established their own Delta Improvement Series. So we have also a book every year in the Delta Improvement Series. Then we uh, also elaborated the book together with leading industry like Continental, but it's written in German. Yeah? So there is no translation unfortunately, but there will be one in the future of how we established a capability level 3 uh, in uh, dynamic uh, driving systems in automotive area. And uh, the original collaboration with the IIT has also continued. We have various magazines. We have, uh, for example, IIT Software, SQB Professional. We have uh, uh, Elsevier Science, who are also publishers of Eurospy volumes. But not every year. The others were every year. They do it just by selection of specific years. And I think this is one of the major drivers that also our research community is participating and sharing the experience with the industrial community. Thank you to the publishers.